just requested, I'm going to be covering the Tag V in today's video, and here's what I'm going to say about it. It was very good back in Modern Warfare 2, but I don't think it has that same kind of flash here in Modern Warfare 3 with the raised TTK and the slow fire rate. It's not like the worst weapon in the game by any means, but it definitely has its flaws and i think the biggest one is going to be movement it's a very slow moving battle rifle that does have high damage when you hit headshots however it does it is a little challenging to hit those headshots i'll be the first to say it the recoil isn't the easiest in the world what i've done with the build is basically done just that limited the recoil so my first attachment here is the tv cardinal stock i did just say this weapon's very very slow so i wanted to increase the movement the big one there is the ads movement speed at 12 percent but you are also getting a little bit of an increased your sprint speed as well the next attachment is going to be to target that recoil control with the fss combat rear grip that is going to give you seven percent to gun kick horizontally and vertical recoil control one of many attachments you do need on this weapon for that next attachment i have the 30 round mag by default you have a 20 round mag and in a game that has 150 hp not really bueno in my opinion you can run that if you want to but i found more success with the 30 round mag it is going to slow down your weapon significantly and in some cases you may like to run the 50 round drum but keep in mind it is a pretty slow paced weapon for that under barrel i have the kimura rin vertical grip this weapon has a very big kick to it or original gun kick which is why i'm choosing this particular one over something like the bruin heavy support grip it kicks up vertically quite extremely, and that's where the 14% there to the gun kick is going to come very much in handy, along with 12% to the vertical recoil control. Yes, you're sacrificing aim down sight speed, but you kind of need to do that to control the recoil on the weapon. And with the final attachment here is the quartermaster suppressor, uh, an attachment I use on a lot of weapons now, simply because this weapon or this attachment is far too good to not be running. Again, sacrificing handling, but at you can see you can see the values here 11 percent of the gun kick 23 percent of the horizontal recoil control and then 10 percent of the gun, uh, vertical recoil control it is beneficial at the sacrifice of that ads i don't remember who exactly requested for me to cover the tac v but this is the best setup i could end up building for you guys i know it's kind of a little underwhelming i'll be the first to say that it, it's not exactly a meta and i wouldn't even classify it very close to the meta is it usable for sure but it definitely falls within the category of weapons that just you're not going to see a lot of as always there's the rest of my loadout on the screen if you guys wanted to copy the rest of this down we're going to jump over to departures for today's gameplay where uh, you can see exactly what i'm talking about it definitely gets kills and especially when you hit the headshots it kills pretty quickly but it's not the easiest weapon in the world to use make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me let's get into it so i did say i want to feature some other mw2 weapons and this one's gonna be the tac v uh, i'm looking at my list here and i've got weapons like the ISO 9 millimeter. We got the FSS Hurricane. Other weapons that I think are gonna be by me to actually give a try and build some setups for. Ooh, good shot, Malicious Queen. Jesus Christ. Hit me with the shots. I'm, I'm, I got off topic there. They're not off topic, but my brain wasn't functioning. <laughs> Basically. There we go. So we're going to feature a lot of MW2 weapons the rest of this season coming up. There you go. You guys are witnessing what this thing can do. I'm going to get this UAV in the air. I would like to get a spawn flip here because the next objective is a bit of a, a, a challenge to hold if not held properly. Oh, that's a double kill. I don't think I have any more UAV time here. No, definitely not. So I'm going to make sure I play this properly. We're going to go all the way because this is where the spawn is for this objective. If we get back here, it should prevent them from spawning behind me. I would hope. Yeah, my team got that. Let's peek this door. I actually think they are going to spawn behind me. No, everyone on my team's the other direction. No? Huh. Huh. I see the dots, but I don't see them. There's one. Oh, they did spawn behind me. Listen, I called that from a mile away. I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know when it was going to happen. 
My teammates got the bunny hops. Let's see if we can take advantage here of this advanced UAV while it's out. Got a lot of time to do it. Maybe I'll go with the VTOL. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, I'm running score streaks. Oopsies. I almost never run score streaks. This Duchess, Jesus I'm Crow! The Duchess over here is frying me. Changing max. There's the Duchess dead. Reloading. Make sure we get our UAV in. This actually no, it's not a person behind me. It's the decoy. Hostile eliminated. Loading fresh map. Subjects out. Hardpoint relocated. Secure the target area. Requesting recon flyover. Reloading. UAV is on station. That just almost got me again. We got time. We got time. We're at 32 kills. We're doing a good job of featuring this thing. Alright. With score streaks. Jeez, I'm With score streaks, I don't exactly know what streak I'm on. I'm going to have to pay attention to it. Alright, I'm on a 15. That's what I'm on. Not getting my butt up. I saw the sniper scope. We're dropping this right on the hill. Dang, that got no kills. Good contact. Don't cut me out. Reload. UAV. Requesting recon flyover. Five point relocating. Complete. Finish it. Send it right. Changing max. Five point relocated. Secure the target area. Advanced UAV, all right. Mag's almost dry. Advanced UAV entering the AO. Friends, the UAV on station. Throwing Semtex. It's a sniper. There we go. I needed that ammo. Ammo here. Loading fresh mag. Waiting for the peak here. That was a knife. 25. I got a UAV. I'm taking this a little patiently. Tragic. No bullets. So we got to go. UAV's in. 
I am at 50 kills. I could. I'm going to use this. There we go. Twenty-nine. Definitely more patiently than I normally would do this. And there it is. Yeah, I took that patiently because with all the snipers in the lobby, there's like three of them. It's mildly concerning when you're trying to play against that. Good job, teammate. Good news is, I can give him this again. Dang, I just got like three kills taken. I got three assists. with the snipers though that's exactly what i was talking about there was no way i could properly take those gunfights oh, i didn't hit my nuke <laughs> that's the second time in like a week that i've done that that's comedy